Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make doll reviews today, but um, I have a big box to open. So I figured I may as well go through it on camera because I like showing you guys things that I buy online. It's fun. So with that, let us begin with the doll haul of today. It came yesterday, but you know, I posted Claudine's review yesterday because I, I have Claudine now. So yeah, let us begin. So as you can imagine, this box here has monster eye dolls in it, because of course it does. And I paid a price for them. It's really hard to buy lots of monster eye dolls online, especially when you're bidding on them, because the price always goes over $100, no matter how many dolls is in the bundle. If there's, like, something decent in there. Thing is that there's nothing good in here. I just wanted one of the dolls specifically, but I still ended up paying, like... Okay, no, it was only 70 bucks. It wasn't that bad. But, um, yeah, with that, let's reach in. And here's the doll that I wanted, but I didn't realize she was wonky. I guess it's not awful on camera. If I tilt her... No, if I tilt her head, it's worse. Um, if I tilt it to this side, it's not that bad. But, um, this is Picture Day Cleo. I've been wanting this doll for a while. I have to fix her bangs, obviously. Pour some boiling water over her head. If I end up not being able to fix her, I think I'm just gonna take the L and sell her and use that money to buy a new one. But overall, I'm very happy to finally have this doll. I used to have her a long time ago, but I sold her because I couldn't find her shoes, which was dumb. Very dumb. But yeah, picture day Cleo. I've started to like Cleo a lot more recently, so it's kind of nice to have her like this. Even if she is extremely wonky. Let's just move this entirely. So many dolls. So many of them. Next doll, we have Dead Tired Draculaura. This is the original version, and once again, she needs her bangs boil washed down. And her hair sticks up the way it's supposed to. She's pretty cute. She doesn't have her sleep mask or her slippers, but she does have her full pajamas. It's a cute Draculaura. I've always liked this one. I have the reissue because uh, I got her when she was brand new in stores. But now I have the original as well. So, cool. Next up is Dot Dead Gorgeous Laguna. I don't actually know what this thing around her neck is. I don't think this is her necklace. It might be, and I could be wrong, but I could have sworn she had like a pendant or something that went down to at least here. I don't know. But um, this doll's really cute. I actually have her new in box. The box is a little damaged though. So I've never owned this doll out of box, but it's cool. I just need to fix her hair up a little. Overall, she's cute. Blup. My mycenes are judging me from a distance. Brat. Next up is another Draculaura. We have Gloom Beach Draculaura. This doll actually has the same face as my first Draculaura ever. It's the same doll as my killer style Draculaura. So I'm thinking after I fix her hair, I might swap their clothes because I kind of tried to trim my killer style Draculaura's bangs when I was a child. So, you know, could always use this doll as a replacement. But I really like her. I like this doll. Very cute. Plop once again. We've also got this nude Rebecca Steam. She's from the five pack, I can tell, because her hair is curly. And if you buy the single release of this doll, her hair is completely straight. So just a fun little variant fact for you guys. She's nude, she has her bracelet and her shoes, and that's it. Thankfully, I have plenty of outfits I could redress this doll in if I decide to keep her. Because I might not. I own like four of this Rebecca. This is my fifth one. There's also, unfortunately, a Gil in this lot. He's from the dance class line. He's complete, just missing his helmet. He's got his leg fins and his shoes. This doll will be going on my Mercari immediately after I wipe him down. If any of you are interested in a Gil, buy him. Link in the description. Next up is this Spectra, and upon further inspection, she is, in fact, Picture Day Spectra. I can tell because of her earrings. I think. I don't think this is Dot Dead Gorgeous. I have Dot Dead Gorgeous up here. Okay, Dot Dead Gorgeous has the same earrings, but she also has side bangs, and... This Spectra does not have side bangs, so yeah, this is picture day. She has Kanekalon hair, which is my least favorite hair type to deal with, but it's not impossible. 
Uh, she's wearing Sweet 1600 Jackie Wara's extra dress. I believe it was gifted to her either by Frankie or Claude. The plaid up here makes me believe it was gifted to her by Frankie, but I don't remember. But um, yeah, completely nude otherwise. She's got some jewelry though. Into the pile. Next up is Meality. Her hair streak is a mess. Her bangs need a little help. She's missing her vest. She's got her bracelets, her pussies out. And she has her original shoes on the wrong feet. I'll help her. I'll fix her. I can fix her. There's only two left in here, so I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, no. There was a third. So here are the last three. We have a nude Skultimate Roller Maze um, operetta. She's in pretty good shape overall. She's just completely naked. None of her pieces are anywhere in the box. Totally naked. Absolutely nothing covering her. Plop. We also have Abby and Laguna. This is Scaris Abby. Uh, basically all I have to do is wash her hair and then pull it back into a ponytail and she is done. And maybe wet, wipe her face down because it looks like there's a dirt spot on her nose. Yeah. She's got her earrings. She has her necklace. She's just missing her belt. She even has her shoes. I'm a large Ebby fan. I'm a very big fan of Ebby. Good at doing Ebby's voice, kind of. Whenever I do it, people tell me I sound like her. Do I sound like Ebby? I don't even know. But um, there's also this Laguna who I just noticed has a small ink stain by her eye. That's unfortunate. I used to have this Laguna out of box. She's from the five pack as well because Gil and Rebecca were present. And I kind of customized her to turn her into Undyne from Undertale for some reason. I bought her again from my flea market guy, new in box though, so. I don't need this doll, but she's cute. Oh my God, her legs are weak as shit. She's fine. They're fine. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No just a lot of packaging. So here are all the dolls that I got. I forgot to mention this, but Spectra has two right hands. I don't know if this was like, they like swap the hands or something, but none of these dolls are missing any limbs. It's just that Spectra has two left hands. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It didn't happen with any of the others. These two have the right hands. Yeah, they've got the right hands. They all have the right hands, and then there's just Spectra with two left ones. So that's fun. Like, even Dracula's got the right hands, which is good because, for some reason, like, original 2010 monster idols like Gloom Beach and the basics, their hands are so hard to get back on for no reason. So I'm glad that hers are still attached because I would not be willing to go through that again. Oh yeah, and there's also, um, the Abomination. Stop fucking looking at me. So yeah, I think I got pretty lucky with this lot. All the dolls have at least two hands, even if they are not the right ones. It's pretty common when buying Monster High dolls for them to be missing limbs. It happens to me all the time. So I'm very glad to see that none of these dolls are missing any. Still weird about Spectra though. Maybe they bought the doll like that. Maybe the previous owner just did that for some reason. I have no idea, but yeah. Lots of nice pieces here, I would say, like this dress. I really like this dress, so even if I don't keep the Spectra that's wearing it, I'm gonna keep the dress. I mostly bought this lot for Cleo because I've been wanting this doll, but I didn't want to spend 30 for her individually, so I just went for a lot that she was in. I figured that was my best bet. So some of these dolls I might end up reselling on Mercari, especially Gil, possibly Laguna and Meality. Uh, mostly Meality, just because I already have her. Yeah, I'm just thinking right now. So, if I post any of these on my Mercari, I'll be sure to let you guys know in a video. And, yeah. I don't know if I have anything else to say. Sorry if you heard me chewing gum in this video. I, I do that sometimes. I chew the gum. It's, it's fun. So, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to show these dolls that I bought because I feel like it's been a while since I've done a little Monster High haul. Uh, my flea markets haven't been dry, I just haven't felt like doing a thrift haul lately. And I still need to redo my nails, they look terrible. <laughs>
Um, they were messy when I was doing them in the bathroom at like, I think I did these at 1am. I don't know. They look like shit though. <laughs> but yeah, those are the dolls. That's everyone. That's all of them. I'm probably going to have to boil some water for some of these bangs over here, especially Cleo and Draculaura, because they are the, they got the worst bangs here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's about it. I might post a doll, re a doll review today of either Robin or Frankie. Feel free to let me know which one you'd rather see. And that's about it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.